Hi everyone, welcome to Metalhead CD Collector. This is Carlos. Nowadays, it's easy to buy and know about bands from different countries around the world. You have YouTube, social networks, a lot of options. But years ago, it was pretty hard to find out about for Asian bands, what has been playing, what has been released. At those days, what we had was magazines. Yeah, we used to learn about bands and a lot of things through the magazines, new releases, etc. This was one of those uh, Metal Hammer. Here we can find a lot of things about bands and well, all the information you find now at the internet you used to find out in magazines. As you can see, I have a, this one from Metal Hammer, Berry Metal, as you can see. There are a lot of options, uh, Metal Maniacs, as well Heavy Rock, Rock Heart, and uh, let me show you a few more. Heavy Rock, Kerrang, and as well uh, from local newspapers. But then uh, this was the concert, the first concert of Iron Maiden here in Costa Rica. So this was the way we notice and find out a lot of things about bands years back. So. What I want to say with this, there are a lot of bands that is pretty hard to find out if they are across continents like Iran, um, Tunisia and other countries like that. So today I'm going to share with you three bands, well, indeed four bands that are from Mediterranean Sea and others from Middle East. So let's take a look on the bands. The first one that I have is Mirath. It's progressive metal with folk elements from Tunisia. This is a great band formed in 2006 with their album Tales of the Sands from 2011. Let's take a look at the art. As you can see, a very nice design CD. And let's check out the booklet. Came okay, with lyrics, nice design. So, let's hear an extract of the following song from this album called Bribing the Seas by Mirath.
sound of this band, huh? Now, the second band that I have for you is called Pentagram. It's heavy metal with folk elements as well. But this band is from Turkey, formed in 1986 with their album Anatolia that was released in 1997. So let's take a look on the art of this album. Now the booklet. Okay, uh, because it's of war and all that things, may have some images that is be a little bit strong. Okay, so with all the lyrics and pictures. Now, let's hear our next track of the song called Thousand in this one. <laughs> within music. Now, the third band that I have for you is called Asoma. It's the metal from Iran formed in 2004 with their album called The Act of I released in 2016. Let's take a look on the album art. In the, all the album art is a little bit dark so I'm sure you could appreciate as well the, the album, but let me show you the booklet. Nice design. Now, the thing about this band is that this is the only album that they have until now. They have released a previous uh, EP. Let me show you. This EP was called A Hymn of the Vicious Monster. And it has just six songs on it. So this is the EP that it was released first and then they came with this album 
So uh, let's take a look and hear the extract of the song Act 2 Umbra of Mirth from Asoma. from Kazakhstan formed in 1997 with their album Volkyodina the Iron Man's Odin's Wolves and was released in 2005. Let's take a look on the album art. Something that it <laughs> is pretty curious about is that it says guaranteed no keyboards synthesizer and MIDI equipment used. You can look it out here. So that was something that it <laughs> prevent that they say no album is nice and just raw music. So let's take a look on the CD art. The same thing. And the booklet. Simple, nice design, all kind of lyrics, and let me tell you that all the lyrics, yep, as you can see, all the lyrics came with their native language. So you have to look them, yep, you have to look them at the internet if you want to know. Uh, what is said the song? So let's hear a next track of a song of this album called Ragnarok from Holy Dragons from Kazakhstan. Let's check it out. Субтитры 
we got a great band from Kazakhstan and nice power metal. Now, that was the thing. Previous times, years, it was hard to find out. I know about new releases from bands far away and only with magazines, that's the one that I show you, you were aware of them. Now you have YouTube, a lot of platforms, social medias, everything you can have in order to find out about these bands. So let me know what bands do you have that were pretty pretty far away from your country and write it down in below comments. I would like to know that. Well, that will be everything for today. Hope you enjoyed the program and please Remember to subscribe, like, and share. See you around the next program. Bye-bye and stay safe.